Hey YouTube, how's it going? Felix here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you my EDC from my recent trip to Disney World in Florida. Uh, this is the bag I brought with me on my recent trip to Disney World, and I'm gonna show you everything I brought with me on my trip uh, for the bag which I carried around the parks. So of course, this is not everything I brought to Disney World. I brought lots of clothes and other stuff, but this is the bag that I carried around with me when I was in the parks, having fun at Disney World, going on all the rides and having a really, really fantastic time. So in this video, I'm gonna open up the bag and I'm gonna show you everything that I brought with me. But before I show you the bag, I'm gonna show you what I had in my pockets because that's really important too. So for my trip to Disney World, in my pockets were my iPhones. This is my iPhone 13 in its lovely Apple official leather case. Very, very nice. I also had with me my wallet. Uh, this is the big skinny extra slim wallet. To be honest at Disney World, I wouldn't say you actually need to bring your wallet with you at all. I would just maybe bring your ID, ID and uh, a credit card and that's probably all you need to bring. You don't really need cash, but I, I just have a habit of bringing my wallet everywhere I go and it's not very big and very, very skinny as you can see. So I have my wallet in my pocket as well. Uh, I also have on one wrist, I have my Apple Watch. This is my Apple Watch Series 6 with the uh, one piece continuous loop band, which I absolutely love. And of course, the most important thing is your Disney Magic Band Plus, uh, or, or the regular Magic Band. I just happen to have the Magic Band Plus. Uh, while I would say this is not 100% necessary, because of course you can just use the app on your iPhone and you can use the sort of wallet app to scan your way around the park, having the Magic Band is really, really fun and it's just a lovely addition to have. And it does slightly add to the magic. So yes, your Magic Band on the other wrist as well. But the main event, let me show you what's in this bag. So this is the bag I brought around Disney with me. It's a, it's a sling bag. It's, um, it's very, very compact and small and very, very nice to carry. The bag itself is an Air, so that's A-E-R. A-E-R is the brand, and it's the Air Day Sling 3. These are designed in the USA in San Francisco, and they are really, really nice bags. Super minimal, beautifully made, ballistic nylon, and uh, yeah, just a, just a gorgeous bag. So, uh, so let me show you what I've got inside. So everything I bring to the parks pit, uh, pit, so fits in here really, really nicely. And uh, it's really, really still not too full and is comfortable to hold and like, it doesn't take up too much space on your body. Okay, let me open up this bag and show you what's inside here. Look at all this stuff we've got in here. Okay, lots of goodies. So let's start. We got some sunglasses in a little um, Oakley soft microfiber case, which is really, really nice and, and uh, doesn't take up too much space in the bag for your sunglasses. You're gonna need those, especially if you're going to Florida because it's super sunny. Um, and then in this rear section here, we've got some sort of some everyday essentials, including some Tic Tacs and some gum. Uh, you can't buy gum in Disney parks, by the way, because uh, they don't want people to spit their gum onto the ground. So if you like gum, like me, then you've got to bring your own because they, they won't sell it to you. Um, so yeah, bring some of your own. And I've also got down here, oh yes, I've got some of my favorite uh, Listerine Fresh Breath strips, which I absolutely love. So I've got a few of those. In this next back pocket over here, I've got a couple of little self-care items. I've got some Burt's Bees uh, hand salve, which is really, really nice stuff. Great for softening your hands. And I've also got in here some, oh, I've got some Apple AirPods for my iPhone. Uh, these are not my AirPod Pros, but these are just the regular classic AirPods, which are nice because, because they don't have noise cancelling, it's really, really good, really easy for you to give one of your friends an AirPod so they can listen to some music in a long queue, for example, for a ride. These are better than the AirPod Pros, which obviously have noise cancelling and they're not really ideal for sharing with a friend. And then on the sort of tech stuff, I've also got a... Obviously, as you'd expect, a key item are some cables. So here I've got a, a USB-C to lightning cable for iPhone users, and I've also got a USB-C to USB-C cable for sort of everything else. And to go with that, I've also got a little power bank. So this is an Anker 5000 milliamp hour power bank, uh, which is good for charging your phone once or twice. It's all you really need if you're just gonna be walking around the parks, and these aren't too big or heavy. And you can see this uh, power bank is also USB-C in and out. It actually has a USB-A port too, but I like to carry this little USB-A to USB-C adapter with me, just so I have two USB-C ports, um, or, or the option of a USB-A port if I, someone needs it and they brought their own cable. But for me, it's USB-C and USB-C, and uh, that means I can just bring these USB-C cables and uh, remove a bit of extra clutter. Okay, pop this down there. Okay, next couple of items, we've got some hand wipes. Absolutely crucial in my opinion for going around Disney. It's uh, it's very, very easy for you to eat some food and get sticky hands. So hand wipes are a critical item, love these. And we've got some tissues, little pack, pocket pack of, uh, of Kleenex here. Very, very useful for lots of different things. 
We've got some sun cream. Um, this is some Factor 50 Plus Eucerin, which I really, really like this brand. This is some very nice high quality sunscreen with uh, with five, well, it's three star, but it's, it, this is good stuff. <laughs> I like this, this is good sunscreen. You could definitely need some of that for the Florida sun, especially if you're going in the summer. Uh, next up, we've got some hand sanitizer in a little bottle. Very important for going to the parks. You're going to be touching lots and lots of high traffic areas. So um, in on the right, so definitely good to clean your hands. Uh, we've got some chapstick. Very, very nice, as you expect. And then down here at the front, we've got a couple of these Colgate Wisp, a little mini toothbrush slash uh, pick, toothpick things. Really, really nice because maybe there are be some occasions where you, you go around Disney and eat some food and you won't have time to be able to clean your teeth properly and uh, maybe you eat something really sugary and you just want to get that, that taste out of your mouth these are really 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 useful bring a few of these and, uh, and keep the rest of the bag in your in your room in your hotel room but just bring a couple with you into the parks they're really really useful okay and i think that concludes most of the main items apart from a microfiber cloth here i'm a glasses wearer so i definitely need a microfiber cloth with me at all times just to clean my glasses that's really, really important. And then the snacks. Okay, snacks are a really, really big topic. Personally, I would advise strongly to bring some snacks with you on your trip to Disney. Uh, the, the park is really busy and you're gonna be spending a lot of your time in queues for various rides. And you might get hungry, you might get cranky, you might get hangry like I do. Um, so it's always good to bring some snacks with you. I was carrying some Oreos with me in these little, um, these little sort of six packs here. These are really, really good. But some other things I carried with me on the trip as well were some protein bars like these, some uh, some pure proteins. These are really, really nice, nice bars. They're delicious and they're, they're very, very high in protein, low sugar, great energy for going around the parks. I really recommend those too, as well as some, some Oreos. Just bring a couple of items with you each day. And of course, the most effective thing you could really bring with you is something like this. These are the Science in Sport uh, energy gels, which people buy these and they use them for you know, long distance cycling and things like that. These are pretty much the most compact and most sort of pocket friendly, high calorie uh, food item you can buy. They're sort of expensive. This is probably like a couple of bucks, this, this single thing. You can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description to some of these items. Uh, but if you, you know, these energy gels are an incredibly effective way of carrying food in a small pocket, a small pouch like this. So uh, so yeah, energy gels or maybe some protein or maybe some Oreos or, or some sort of candy, you know, something to keep your energy up while you're in these long queues for the long days at Disney. Okay, other than that, I've got no extra space here. Uh, this, this bag does have this zip up section here in the middle, this lovely air bag. And in here, I usually just end up putting my wallet actually into here because I don't really need to keep it in my pockets when I'm going on the rides. And then finally, in this back section here, I've got, uh, this also zips up and closes. I've got two things. I've got a little mini Sharpie, a micro size Sharpie. And I've also got one of these lovely Zebra uh, EDC pens, the Zebra F301. And this pen sort of flips out and rotates and makes into a bigger pen. Very, very nice for writing. These are good for just like annotating park maps and, uh, and just in case you ever want to write something or you get a bit bored and you want to just, you know, doodle or whatever. Um, so yeah, that, that concludes the main part of my back. Uh, this section on the front side, I actually leave this empty on purpose. Um, I leave this empty on purpose uh, just because I might want to put things in there throughout the day as I sort of accumulate stuff like a park map. Or, it's just nice to keep this keep this empty and uh, to put things in here whenever you need some space. And I also, I haven't got it pictured here, but I also tend to clip an Apple AirTag onto this little, uh, this little built-in sort of um, key retaining clip here. I put Apple AirTags in every bag I carry, just in case you lose it. It's, it makes sense uh, to have AirTags and everything. So yeah, I always have an AirTag in here as well. And then finally, you might be able to notice here on the side of the bag, I've actually got a carabiner attached here onto the side. This is one of these lovely carabiners. I forget the brand. What is the brand? It's a Gear Aid. It's a Gear Aid special carabiner here, which is you, you can use this, this, uh, this carabiner. It sort of unfolds. And you can use it to hook the bag to things. But the reason I keep this carabiner here on the side is because when you're in Disney, you're undoubtedly going to have a hat with you, a baseball cap or some sort of hat. Um, whenever you go on the rides, you're going to have to take this hat off and the hat is sort of quite likely maybe to get lost or get blown away or left somewhere. Well, with this carabiner on the side of the bag, you can very easily just clip the hat onto the side of your bag like this. And then that way it's retained and your hat's not going to go anywhere while you're riding a ride. And uh, then when you come off the ride, you want to put your hat back on. You just clip, simply just like undo it like this and you can take your hat and put it back on. 
Okay, simple as that. So yes, that's my, that was my EDC bag set up for Disney World. Uh, this is a very, very nice bag, the Air Daysling 3. I can't recommend this bag highly enough. It's a beautiful size. It's really, really nice to carry. It's just big enough to have everything you would need, um, but also you know small enough that it's not uncomfortable and annoying to have to move around. Okay, let me add one more thought. Okay, so I've cleaned the table just so I can give you one final closing thought here. So you'll notice this bag here, it's really, really nice and compact and, uh, and easy to carry, but you'll notice that there's one thing you can't fit in this bag, and that is this, water, or water bottle. Um, this bag is nowhere near big enough to fit a water bottle uh, or water bottles for you and your family or friends. Um, so yeah, so if you're gonna take it, go with a sort of strategy like this and bring this sort of size bag, you're gonna have to buy water or buy drinks at Disney. And that may be for you uh, or, or it may not. Um, for me, I was, I was sort of happy buying water and buying drinks, but it can get expensive. Um, in hindsight, uh, for Disney World, I think you'd actually be slightly better off bringing a bigger bag because at Disney, the rides are designed such that it's very, very easy for you to bring a backpack or a bigger bag. Uh, they always have sort of like an enclosed foot space area on the rides such that you can bring a bigger bag and it doesn't really uh, make you suffer in any way. You don't have to put in a locker or anything like that. So for Disney World, I would really consider bringing something like this bag here. So this is an East Pack, um, an East Pack padded Packer. These are really, really famous, really classic uh, East Pack bags. You know, this is just a sort of very, very standard size backpack. Um, I would probably consider bringing a bag like that if you're going to Disney World, because if you bring a bag like that, you can easily bring everything I showed you earlier from the EDC, with all the stuff which fits into this, plus you can bring a couple of water bottles, which will no doubt save you some money. There's a much, much sort of uh, much easier on your wallet and you know arguably more convenient because you can carry around water and I would also consider bringing a lot more snacks bring a lot of food and bring a lot of snacks uh, because some of the lines can get really long and uh, it, it's just nice to be able to just have a nice snack while you're while you're you know waiting for a ride so maybe if I was going to Disney World I would really consider bringing a bigger bag like this fill it with everything I just showed you along with some water bottles and some food However, if you are also going to Universal, and Universal in Orlando, Universal's parks are very different to Disney's parks, and you'll find that at Universal's parks, you cannot bring a big bag like this. If you bring this bag to Universal's parks, you're going to have to pay every time uh, to put it into a special large size locker because most of Universal's rides require you to store your um, to store your valuables, to store your bags in a locker because you know that they're more sort of thrill ride orient oriented stuff. Uh, you know, some of the rides go upside down and things like that. They don't want you to have a bag on you. Um, so having a bag like this is gonna be a real pain at Universal because uh, you're gonna have to put that in an expensive large size locker every time. However, this bag here fits perfectly into the free uh, Keyword there is free, the free uh, regular size lockers they have at Universal, which are approximately about maybe this high. This bag slips in into the uh, into the, the standard size lockers at Universal really, really well. So yeah, if you're going to Universal and to Disney, I would strongly recommend bringing a bag of this size because this works for both parks. If you're just going to Disney, I would consider bringing a bit bigger of a bag because you can get away with it at Disney and that means you can bring some water and some extra snacks. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video about my EDC at Disney World. If you have any questions at all, uh, or you have any, any comments or anything like that, please do leave me a comment in the comments section below. I love hearing your feedback every time. Uh, if you're interested in more EDC videos and things like this, then please do consider subscribing. You'll find a list of some of the key products in the uh, description below if you want to have a look. And, uh, and as always, thanks for watching. Take care.